Hey everyone, we've got a 20 minute full body workout today working your entire body, your chest, your legs, your arms, your glutes and your abs. It's a weighted workout but there's no equipment alternatives if you don't have any equipment at home. You can find the full program schedule on my brand new website and we've just launched a new feature so you can work out in a team of friends. I'm also so excited to announce that along with my fitness equipment range, I've just launched a new activewear range available at walmart.com so get it before it's gone. Smash that thumbs up button for me and leave me a comment down below and share this workout with your friends and let's get into the workout. We've got 22 exercises across 2 sets, 30 to 50 seconds on and 10 to 30 seconds of rest in between. You need a set of dumbbells for this workout but if you don't have any, just follow along with the no equipment alternatives. Let's get started with dumbbell snatch. Grab a dumbbell, stand with your feet about shoulder width apart, squat down, engage your core and your glutes and hold the dumbbell with your left hand in between your legs. Now stand back up and lift the dumbbell up then press it upwards. Make sure you try it with lighter weights first. If you have not done this before, you don't want to hurt your shoulders. Make sure your back is straight too. Ten seconds rest now and we'll work on the other side. For low impact, just do lateral taps. Rest up, next we got deadlift, rear delt fly using two dumbbells. Make sure you're using weights that challenge you on your final few reps. Start with the deadlift by pushing your hips back while maintaining a straight back. Then lift your dumbbells away from the midline of your body. Then lower the dumbbells down slowly, then get back up and repeat. Great work guys, lateral lunge curl is next. Stand upright and take a step to the right, then bend at the right elbow to lift the dumbbell towards your shoulder. Then do the same on the other side. Ten seconds rest now, place a set of dumbbells down. You can use a single dumbbell or two dumbbells next. Start in a kneeling position with your knees hip width apart, then brace your core and bring your feet forward into a squat position. Then stand back up, then into a squat and repeat.
30 seconds rest here. Put those dumbbells aside and rest your arms. Alright, grab a set of lighter dumbbells and we're going into burpees to press. Start in a plank, then jump both feet in, brace your core and keep your back straight as you bring the weights up into a press. For low impact, just do the exercise without weights. It is also best to do this exercise without weights if you have not done it before. Ten seconds rest now, and we've got Zotman curls. Stand upright with your feet hip width apart. Have your palms facing up. Lift the weights up, approaching your shoulders. Then turn your wrists facing downwards, but in an angle. Then lower the dumbbells down slowly, and then repeat. You are doing great guys, not long to go. You can use one or two dumbbells for this exercise. Static lunges are next. Stand upright, then take a step forward or backward and lunge down so both knees are bent at about 90 degrees. Keep the weight in your heels as you push back up to the starting position. And then repeat. Rest up and we'll swap to the other leg. Just two more exercises after this one and that will be sad one. Nice work guys, now let's swap to a set of lighter weights for some squats with front raises. Stand upright, hold the dumbbells in front of you, feet about shoulder width apart, brace your core and squat down low. Then raise your arms up until they reach shoulder height, do not go over. Then lower the dumbbells down slowly, then get back up and repeat. Final exercise of the first set, we got plank tricep kick back. Keep pushing guys, we're almost to a long rest time. Start in a plank, then bring one dumbbell behind you while bracing your core. Make sure your hips stay as stable as you can. Work that core and triceps.
And that's sad one. Pause the video here for a longer break. It is very important to take sufficient break as you don't want to injure yourself. You can take two minutes break if you want to. For the next set, we're basically repeating all the exercises from set 1. You've already done them once, so you can do them again. I know this can be a little bit boring to do the same exercises again, but we need to do it for muscle memory and to build strength. Grab a heavy dumbbell and let's go again with dumbbell snatch. Stand with your feet about shoulder width apart, brace your core and squat down low. Now get back up and lift the dumbbell up and press it upwards. Make sure you do it in good form. Ten seconds rest here and we'll move on to the other side with the other arm. Nice work guys, we're using a set of lighter weights for deadlift radial fly. Push your hips back as you lower the weights down, make sure your back is straight, then lift the weights away from the midline of your body. seconds rest now and we've got lateral lunge curl. Take a step right and lunge and curl your right arm, then back to the middle, then to the other side. Nice work, not long to go. Keep pushing yourself. Long rest time coming up soon and need to squat is next. Make sure you engage your core and keep your back straight too. This is gonna burn but it's gonna be worth it.
All right, put your dumbbells down, 30 seconds rest now. Let's get through the last six exercises. Keep your back straight as you lift the dumbbells up. You can do this exercise without weights too. Great job guys, Zotman and Curls are next. Lift the weights up towards your shoulders, then rotate your wrist, then lower them down slowly, and then repeat. Well done guys, now we've got static lunges. This is gonna burn your quads and glutes, but keep going guys, we are almost there. Ten seconds rest now and let's swap to the other leg. Just two more exercises to go guys, you got this. Swap to a set of dumbbells and squat front raises next. Brace your core and squat down low, then raise the dumbbells in front of you until they reach shoulder height. And it's time for our final exercise, plank tricep kickbacks. Rest up and let's finish this workout. Start in a plank, then lift your arms behind you. Make sure you keep your hips as stable as you can.
And that's the workout guys, 20 minutes of fun. I hope you're feeling the burn. Smash that like button and leave me a comment down below. And do check out my merch store if you want to support my channel. I really appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next workout. Bye!